Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining with me. And today we are going to discuss this topic, which is visible on the screen. Uh, I have already shared it in our all groups. So I hope all of you have taken your preparation on this topic properly. Now you will share your ideas one by one. First, we'd like to discuss part one, then part two, then part three. Like this way, your discussion will go on. Uh, so let's get it started. First, uh, who is ready? Who is ready for part one? Yes. Uh, Mustafa, you are a good speaker, so let's start. You are permitted, Mustafa. After Mustafa, uh, shall you? Yes, speak? sir. Yeah, Mustafa. Uh, you have to deliver your space on part one. You have to read out the question and answer them. Okay, sir. Um, uh, thank you. Um, so my first question is what is uh, What's your name? Any problem with the piece? Your sound is not clear to us. Maybe he has network problem. Um, um, I'm extremely sorry for that. Yeah. Um, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. Try to fix your problem. Then uh, you can start your space. Uh, Sharif, uh, Sharif, you also speak very well. Please admit yourself and share your ideas on part one. Sharif. Admit yourself, you can do it because uh, you are permitted. Any problem, Sharif? Maybe he can't hear. Salman Al Hassan, are you ready? Salman. Salman. Yes, sir, I see. Okay, Salman, please. I uh, start your part one. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Assalamualaikum. I am Salman Al Hassan from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'll try to give the answer part one. First question is, what is your name? My full name is Salman Al Hassan. My nickname is Salman. You can call me Salman. Where are you from? Uh, okay. Uh, I I lived in Dhaka city, but I am from Kolna. That was um, that is very beautiful city, uh, and it is uh, southern part of Bangladesh. Uh, um, and many mountains and lake situated in this area. So many foreign tourists want to want to visit in the winter season to enjoy a environment and a lake. Next question: What do you do? Uh, recently, I have completed my graduation and I try to find a job in the in a private. Company of Dhaka, Bangladesh, uh, and in the software in the software section. Next question. Let's now talk about snacks. First question: What snacks did you eat when you were young? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, from my from my uh, from the from my childhood, I uh, try to uh, have uh, many types of snacks. Yes, as as uh, vegetables, uh, uh, chicken, and also I try to uh, uh, eat uh, many types of uh, biscuits, uh, and because uh, it, it is very uh, healthy, or I try to control my uh, diet, um, so I eat many types of uh, snacks uh, in the morning time. 
Next question, uh, do you uh, often eat snacks now? Mm, okay, definitely. I eat uh, snacks uh, um, from the morning or evening times. And I try to eat uh, every day um, uh, with my family or with my brothers. Uh, next question, do you think eating snacks are healthy? Uh, from my uh, in my opinion, I think uh, um, uh, eating snacks uh, uh, are very healthy for, for uh, and it uh, helps to prevent many types of diseases. Uh, so I try to eat uh, uh, vegetable snacks uh, and uh, many many types of uh, natural uh, fruits as a snacks uh, with my. Uh, uh, with my brothers uh, in the evening or many morning times and I think it is very healthy and it helps to uh, control uh, overweight. So uh, everybody should uh, eat uh, snacks uh, types of food uh, every day to, to uh, keep your body fitness. Yeah, Salman, thank you for your space. Only a little bit mannerism. But uh, nowadays you commit only a few mistakes. And best uh, try to overcome your mannerism, your nervousness, then I think everything will be okay. And take a preparation on part two, I'll go to you next time. Okay. Then who is ready for part one? Anyone, please unmute yourself. It is permitted to all of you. Okay, sir. Um, okay, must can... Yeah, now it's okay. Okay, sir. Uh, so first question is, what is your, what is my name? Uh, my name is Mustafiz. It's my certificate name, and uh, easily you can call me Mustafiz. Where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from Joshua, and I have been living in Putain for three years for my study purpose. What do you do? Uh, currently, I'm a student and uh, it's my work, so I most of the time I study and uh, in my free time, I do some free activities like playing guitar or singing song. Let's talk about snacks. What snacks did you eat when uh, when you were young? You know, uh, when I, I was young, that time I mostly liked chips and uh, sandwiches and as well as some kind of vegetable which wasn't uh, tasty but uh, for healthy condition i really love to eat and love to eat so do you often uh, eat snacks now uh yes i mostly try to um eat uh, snacks every day but uh, it's not possible because at least i uh, stay with uh, some friends uh it's a mess so i need to maintain the meal what they want so it could be twice a week. So do you think eating snacks are healthy? Okay, uh, firstly, should I clear that snacks, it's a, it's a small kind of food. So there's variety of snacks, like some, uh, something, something is uh, healthy or something is not healthy, like chips and uh, different type of, uh, a uh, different type of uh, wild food that's not uh, healthy for us, but uh, which is vegetable like uh, sandwiches or uh, something like that, it's healthy. So I think all are not healthy, but some something is healthy. That's all about my answer, but part one, sir. Uh, sir. You have, you, you have done very briefly. Uh, you should add some extra information in your answer. <clears throat> okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, so then who is ready for part one? Please unmute yourself or I will start part two. And we have got the youngest participant with us. Montasir, you are welcome. Uh, it has been late for you. Uh, however, would you like to discuss part one right now, Montasir? Hello, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, alaikum salam. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, your sound is clear to me. 
Are you ready for part one, Mr. Mast uh, Yes, sir. Okay, then please go ahead. Okay, let's talk about part one. What is your name? My full name is Mundasir Hussain. Please call me because that's my nickname. And where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Bogura. You know, guys, Bogura is under Rasa Division, and Bogura is a model city. And what can I tell? Uh, Bogura is a model town. And what do you do? You know, guys, I'm a student. Obviously, I study. And let's talk about snacks. What snacks did you eat when you were young? When I was young, I ate uh, what? I ate soup. And then, at that time I was young, that time I liked soup very much. And do you often eat snacks now? Yeah. Sometimes I eat snacks. And the next question is, do you think eating snacks are healthy? Actually, eating snacks is not very healthy. And ne let's talk about part two. Describe a popular place for doing sports. You should say, it means I should say, why it is. It is Chandra Stadium. You know, guys, Chandra Stadium is under... Bogura, it is located at Bogura city. And next question is, when you go there, actually, I I never go there alone. But many, many times ago, I go with my parents. I, have, I had been gone with my parents. And next question is, what do you do there? Actually, I, I, what can I tell? I visit with my parents the stadium and explain how you feel about this place. Actually, that time I feel very good because it is a very popular stadium in Bogura city. It has also swimming pool and so let's talk about rounding of question. What type of sports are popular in your country? Actually, cricket is cricket is popular in my my country. And you know, guys, see, cricket is a uh, international sports. And the next question is, what are the benefits of playing a sport? And so the answer is it. The benefits are the sports mind. The sports can uh, feed our body and our press our mind. And the next question is: Do you think the types of sport that are popular will? change in the future actually i think no next question how can sports bring people from different countries closer together i think in a cricket match uh, what can it tell uh, when a cricket match begin ha hold the time what can it tell that time, uh, sports bring people from different countries closer together. And the next question is, what are the advantages of hosting different international sporting events in a country? Actually, I don't know. And how can we, in, sorry, children, encourage children to participate in different types of sporting activities. Actually, I also don't know, but I think uh, sport, 
but i think uh, every child actually i think every children likes sport and that's all yeah muntasir thank you very much thank you very much muntasir dear participants uh, muntasir is the youngest participant of this group and he is Sir. one of the best speakers uh, he is Sir. very curious yeah 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 Sir, I want to say that uh, Muntasi he is doing very well because of uh, his confidence. He didn't yeah, yeah, answer yeah. most of the questions. He, uh, he's a student of class he three. Very confident. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> he is very, very curious, very confident, okay. and uh, of course, a courageous boy. Uh, so uh, he is permitted here. And as really, uh, dear participant, you have many things to learn from this Thank young boy. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. <laughs> okay, Muntasi, thank you. Uh, try your level best to join with us, but I have one complaint against you, Muntasi. You are repeating the word actually several times. So don't repeat it because sometimes uh, it is uh, one kind of morning word to us if you repeat the same word again and again, okay? Uh, so okay. you must not repeat it. Uh, okay, Muntasi, of course, uh, you have done very well and it is excellent for you. Uh, okay, you can uh, stay with us, Montasir, or you may leave. Yeah, can, you, yeah, yeah. can you tell me, Sami? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, okay, Sami, you can stay with us, or uh, you may leave, if you like. So I stay. Oh, okay, 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 thank you then. Uh, then, dear uh, participant, who is ready for part two? We are going to start part two. Um, so, sir, I can try. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, part two. Describe a popular place for doing a sports. Uh, okay. You should say what it is, when you go there, what you do there, and explain how you feel about this place. Okay. For these questions, I'd like to talk about a very uh, popular stadium very close to my home. It's a uh, very near to the National Stadium Miputin. So it's called Indoor Stadium. And uh, the name of this stadium, I think, uh, Sheikh Russell or something like that. I just forget the name. I mostly go there with my friends and uh, friends at afternoon or sometimes at morning because of they, they make a, uh, make a um, competition with other universities, students, universities player. They also wants to play with us uh, at, like cricket. So um, it could be any time when they make a competition between us. And um, we do play with other university students. Uh, sometimes it's uh, happened wide rangely. So I really excited when I, I was really, uh, I feel really excited when I was uh, playing and I play with other university students. And I feel very, very uh, fantastic when I play with other students and uh, as well as when I win the mass. And uh, so, you know, uh, indoor stadium, it's a very fancy stadium and uh, there is, th that stadium is very clean and uh, tidy. So I feel very smooth and cool. So, so that's all about part two. I don't know, sir. <laughs> it's very short, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very very short you should uh tie your level best to deliver your space at least two minutes uh, yes sir i'm sorry uh, that okay. and uh, two mistakes that i have noticed uh, in your space that is they also want yes sir. You know, they they is a plural word that is uh the plural third person that person plural number uh so after they no need to use yes or yes with the principal verb it will be they also want uh, and with other mm -hmm. students, not with other students, it will be with other students. Uh, so because uh, you okay. cannot uh, add yes or yes uh, with the adjective. Adjectives are always in singular form, but they can make the noun in plural form. Okay, okay uh, so, so. you can, you can okay. say uh, one student, but uh, two students. One and two, both okay. are adjectives. Um, but uh, you cannot add with two twos, okay? Uh, so uh, other students, not other students. 
Then uh, wait, most of his, we will start uh, part three later. Uh, then who is left for part two, please? Part two, we have got um, um, um. Ali Hassan. Ali Hassan, please admit yourself, Ali Hassan. Oh, he has left us. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, Salman, Salman Al Hassan, please admit yourself for part two. Salman. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. I'll try to give the answer part two. Uh, question is describe a popular place for doing sports. Uh, first question, where it is, when you go there and what you do there and explain how you feel about this place. Uh, first, I should, should mention is that uh, in my entire life, I visited uh, many places uh, to play many types of uh, games. Uh, but uh, I am um, but I think uh, one of the most important uh, or outstanding place is, is, is uh, stadiums of uh, uh, center city of uh, Kolna. This stadium is very um, uh, attractive. Uh, many people uh, go, go there to play, play, uh, to play many types of esports. Uh, uh, and uh, some young people go, go there to, to enjoy swimming. Uh, I I also try to both to play many games such as football, tickets, and also I try to go swimming in the morning times with my friends. Yeah, I think indoor games is very popular in our country, but but children like outdoor activities so. So many people like uh, swimming or many people uh, like uh, uh, cricket or football games. Uh, uh, um, the, uh, the swimming pool is very uh, warm, uh, warm or heated pool. Uh, so I enjoy a lot in the winter seasons. Uh, and every day uh, I will try to go, go there, especially evening or morning times. Um, swimming is now becoming uh, a quite a popular exercise. And I think it is also a recreational activity for uh, people uh, or, uh, for, and all all ages people. Uh, I, I also took uh, uh, swimming uh, lessons uh, from my from my school teachers. Uh, so I, I I so I so I started uh, started to uh, pay regular visits uh, to this uh, pool uh, with my friends or uh, with my uh, elder brothers. Uh, um, and it is uh, available for uh, all seasons. Uh, Firstly, I think it is very safety and I am and I have rules and regulations and I have, I have some instruct to pull uh, to, to training younger people. Uh, so I suggest for younger people to visit uh, Kulna stadiums uh, to enjoy uh, swimming pools or to enjoy many types of esports uh, because esports is very uh, important things uh, to build up uh, communication on uh, and uh, relationship build up with uh, friends. Uh, um, uh, also, I think that all uh, all this creates the best experience for for the people when they go to when to go there to swimming or play the other sports i believe that all seasons is available in the swimming pool totally and it is very it is very it is very less costly and it is very good opportunity for younger people Yeah, Salman. Many types of sports. After many, your noun will be in plural form. Yes. And then I think instead of this, you can say, in my opinion, it is better. Yes, uh, especially, especially, I have mentioned it several times for you. So try to correct the pronunciation, especially, not surely, uh, especially, especially. And quite, it's quite and quite popular, like this way. Yeah, uh, you have done very well uh, in this part. If I compare your space with part one, so take your version for part three. Okay, sir. Okay. 
Sami and show you K F S. Who is K F S? If you are curious, please unmute yourself. Yeah. Just unmute yourself and mention your name if you are not willing to share your ideas on part one. Hello, sir. Assalamu alaikum. It's me, Sinha. Oh, Sinha, stay with us. No problem. <laughs> sir, it's me, Sinha. Yeah, I know you. Sina, thank you to join with us. Uh, so uh, be our listener, Sina. Uh, Sharif, Sharif, uh, we like to say something. Sharif, please unmute yourself. Sharif. Uh, Sharif or uh, Abdullah Al uh, Mahabub would like to share something. Mahabub. Yes, sir, uh, but uh, ask, ask, sir. Okay, not today. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, so then, Sharif, Salman, Sami. Where is Mustafis? Now you have to complete your part three. Unmute yourself, Mustafis. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead for part three. Okay. So, part three. <laughs> What type of sports are popular in your country? Okay, uh, in my country, uh, there is uh, three sports game are very popular. First one is cricket and second one is football. And someone, uh, I know a little bit about this, uh, like hockey, I think. And these are the most popular, but uh, compared to others, cricket is uh, very popular. And, uh, you know, in my country, there is... Uh, 17 core people and they're they're very fancy about cricket and uh, most of the people just know about cricket so i can i would like to say cricket is the most popular in my country what are the benefits of playing up as sports uh, playing as sports there is a very like significant benefit for our health and physics i think and uh, we can exercise by sporting, sporting, playing sports, and it could be any kind of sports. It could be football, cricket, or uh, how to do different kind of sports. So the benefit is exactly our health benefit. We can make our physics perfect and uh, very strong and energetic by playing sports. Okay, do you think the type of sports that are popular will change in the future? Okay, uh, firstly, I thought um, it could be changed in the future cause, uh, you know, uh, throughout the world, there is football is a very famous uh, sports game, the greatest show on earth. Uh, but in my country, uh, cricket is a very famous. And uh, I wonder sometimes that uh, after five years or 10 years, cricket could be uh, diminishing the popularity and uh, football uh, federation and uh, football industry could be increased rapidly uh, to, to some uh, like promotion. So I think it could be changed after 10 years or five years. Okay. How can sports bring people from different countries closer together? Any problem? Mustafa is. Maybe he has network problem. Oh, he is not with us. Yeah, Mustafa, go ahead. Uh, sir. Yeah, yeah, now, now it's okay. Sir, I'm really sorry for my network issues. Okay, the question is, how can sports bring people from different countries closer together? So, as I mentioned, uh, it's a game, and uh, we should watch this game togetherly in our stadium. So, like, if we make, a, uh, for example, if we make a match between Bangladesh and India, and uh, there should 
come Indian people uh, in Bangladesh and uh, Bangladeshi people as well as, so people can collaborate, people can together with others countries people. So they enjoy a lot and that's the policy, that's the system, how people are really together. So it's a huge advantage for to know about uh, another country's culture. Okay, what are the advantages of hosting different international sporting events in a country? Again, network problem. So, yeah, yeah. I think uh, by hosting uh, uh, another country's exporting, I think uh, there is lots of advantages. Uh, firstly, you can know about the culture of this country. You can know the environment of this field. And uh, as well as uh, you will get some information about the country's sports uh, team. So these are the most, uh, most uh, like, um, most popular things that's really advantages for a hoster and how can we encourage children to participate in different type of sporting activities so for but uh, for encourage children it's not difficult because uh, children always are fond of to play any kind of sports so we can make some match like competition. We can uh, make some competitive match, uh, which really encourage people to enhance their skills by playing any kind of sports. It could be anything like um, badminton or uh, cricket or football. And uh, so this is the main thing. And uh, also children love to swim. So I think swimming could be a uh, great, uh, great activities, uh, sports activities for children. And uh, after, after, like in, in this competition, if we have a win, winner, if we have a um, prize for winning team, so children could be very encouraged uh, to take the prize. So this is the system how we can encourage children. Yeah, most of it. Thank you very much for your stress. Uh, a few mistakes. Yes, sir. Uh, for you, that is there, verb, then noun. Uh, if your noun is singular, then after there, you can use is. Suppose uh, there is a book on the table. Mm -hmm. uh, if the, uh, the two books, then mm -hmm. your sentence will be there are two books on the table. Three books. There are three books on the table. Okay. Yes, uh, I just forget who you use, sir. I just forget to use. Okay. Now, uh, uh, I remember, I remember it. The, the, there is, there are, there was, there were. Okay. Yes, For a singular purpose, you can use there is or there was in terms of yes, tense. Sir. And uh, for plural, there are and there were. Yes, sir. Uh, so then, time, then, I heard, then I heard, I thought, or I think, try to use in my opinion, it's better for you and country, not country. Okay. Um, then uh, togetherly, it's totally wrong. Together. Uh, together itself is an adverb. So no okay. need to use add after it. Okay, okay. together. And uh, for encouraging, for encouraging, encourage is a verb. Uh, so if you use encourage after preposition, of course, you have to add ing with the verb. So the correct okay. will be for encouraging. Okay, sir. You must, you must learn some pronunciation, um, new words, and grammar every day. Try to add these things with your English every day. If you do it, then I think your score will be improved. Uh, yes, sir. This time. Uh, I didn't practice for a long time, sir. That's why I, I uh, faced it regularly. Uh, because you are not regular, you are irregular. Try to be regular. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, Mustafa, thank you very much for your space. Then who is left for part three? Please unmute yourself for part three. We are almost at the end of our class. So please unmute yourself for part three. Salman, have you completed part three? 
सलमान यस सर यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब पार्ट थ्री राइट नाउ ओके um okay i'll try to give the answer part three first question is what types of esports uh, are popular in, in our country um, uh, actually in my country many, many people uh, like many different types of esports on top of that uh, uh, is uh, a popular game is uh, football and, and cricket uh, and i also uh, try to play these types of games in the evening times in the afternoon on um, Uh, also i uh, try, try to play play, play play tennis and soccer um, because it is uh, very uh, healthy and uh, it it uh, helps it to uh, reduce uh, weight uh, for my body so i, I play uh, this types of uh, esports uh, in my country next question you know, what are the benefits of playing esports Mm, okay uh, of course uh, people who uh, and play uh, different types of esports uh, have uh, many types of uh, benefits is uh, uh, especially especially uh, for for uh, younger people uh, or get um, um, many types of uh, benefits uh, by playing uh, games uh, but i suggest for uh, elder elder people uh, who Who, um, who can cannot uh, play games uh, for their uh, busy time or for their uh, job uh, of course they should uh, uh, walking or uh, soccer games uh, in the uh, morning times because it, it is very um, helpful to, to control body fitness Now also it is it's a play or also sports or um, also playing sports uh, prevent many types of uh, diseases uh, such as uh, diabetes uh, and so on next question do you think the types of sports uh, the, that are popular will change in the future um from uh, in my opinion uh, many types of sports are popular in our days but uh, Uh, of course, uh, in the contemporary era, um, many games uh, will change, uh, especially uh, outdoor games or indoor games. Uh, both uh, will be changed in the near the future. Um, such as uh, in my country, uh, tennis, uh, soccer, and golf uh, uh, was not popular, and many people uh, did not play these games for the uh, for expensive um, or uh, cost arms uh, cost and arms and leg um, but uh, and nowadays uh, many younger people try to play this types of uh, games uh, um, in the evening times or um, afternoon next question uh, uh, how can sports bring people from different countries closer together uh, Uh, definitely, sports uh, can bring people uh, in closer, or build uh, helps to build up a relationship uh, from different countries. Uh, such as uh, Olympic Games is uh, the most uh, um, uh, most uh, uh, important or play vital role to uh, build up relationship uh, between different uh, between uh, in different countries. also um, many uh, talented uh, sport uh, sportsmen uh, joined uh, in olympic games and they uh, they can earn or uh, they can achieve a prestigious uh, prestigious uh, prize and it's uh, um, and it's renowned it helps to renown their country so i am i so i think sports also helps to to the um, build up relationship also uh, also helps to develop uh, country economics next question what are the advantages of hosting different international sporting events in a country uh, Mm, uh definitely have uh, so many types of advantages when um, international uh, is, uh, sporting club arrange uh, uh, different types of events uh, sports games uh, and invites in and they uh, invite uh, hosting members for different uh, countries uh, also it is uh, helpful uh, for uh, 
build up uh, for building up relationship and uh, and it helps to um, contact with them and when host people uh, go uh, go to visit another uh, country for the uh, for, for the international is Sporting club, they can uh, they can build up knowledge uh, about uh, their culture and traditions. So of course, uh, uh, hosting uh, is a very very important thing, uh, or have uh, many benefits or advantages for uh, the many countries. Next question: uh, How can we encourage children to participate in different types of sporting activities? Uh, in the contemporary era, many children uh, cannot uh, do not want to participate uh, in outdoor activities. And I noticed that I realized that some uh, children uh, addicted in the uh, indoor games. Uh, indoor games such as computer computer games and it, it is very um, harmful for their eyes and for their body fitness uh, so uh, i encourage uh, and i uh, i arrange uh, some uh, uh, events to encourage children uh, uh, with uh, uh, encourage children and I suggest for parents to uh, uh, encourage their children to play outdoor activities such as uh, football and cricket because football and cricket is very helpful to develop uh, their uh, mental activity and it helps to develop cognitive knowledge and also it uh, uh, aids uh, it is to uh, develop uh, uh, cognitive knowledge and creativity uh, um, and it uh, can help to uh, develop uh, concentrate for any work so of course uh, parents uh, should encourage their children uh, in the outdoor activities to uh, develop their knowledge yes ah uh, okay Salman. Uh, thank you for your space they should working uh, you know should is a model auxiliary and after model auxiliary you have to use the base form of verb yes, then sir. both are will be both uh, is a pronoun here and also subject so after both you have to use are or will be uh, depending on your tense are is present tense and uh, will be uh, in future tense so you must use it according to the demand of your tense then many people many people don't play this game not didn't play you are describing something in present, oh, yes, present yes. tense so of course it will be don't not didn't and advantages or advantage and uh, some children are addicted to if you were uh, use the word addict then uh, you have to use to no. it, addicted to okay some children, some children are addicted to some indoor games, and you must keep your tone at the same way. Uh, okay, and if you do mirror practice, I think it will help you to improve yourself. That is very necessary for you. You must do mirror practice uh, because it is very, very helpful. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, Salman, thank you for your space. But I uh, have some problem for intonation. I cannot uh, stay for uh, some for the some words. So how can I develop my intonation or stay uh, some for for the some words? Listen, listen. Uh, try to uh, improve your listening. Okay. Try to okay. listen. British or American? BBC. BBC. Uh, B B British or American? Which is uh, better? better. B British is better, I think. Uh, if you have intention uh, to go abroad, then uh, if you have intention for European countries, uh, then yes, of course, British is better. But, and uh, if you uh, want to go to American dominated country, then uh, you can uh, learn American English. But okay. there is uh, only a uh, little bit difference I, between these two languages. I realize that American people is uh, try to tell everything very quickly. But British is uh, uh, have some time. So take uh, some actually, time. in uh, British English, you will find uh, tongue twisters, and British English yes, yes, is yes. more difficult, necessary, more difficult than necessary. American English. Uh, so, but uh, I enjoy British English. I like British English. 
Um, okay, okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All over the world now, both uh, Englishes are available. People uh, to like and understand both British and American English. So it's not matter. Uh, just uh, as learn one uh, anyone, but correctly. And try to learn some pronunciation and uh, new words every day. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, I follow any dictionary or website. Uh, you must read uh, newspaper and daily star. Daily star every day at least um, five reports. Uh, okay. Then you find new, new words and the update words are available in uh, newspaper. It is but very very helpful. Pronunciation. Uh, uh, you uh, you will you will find the pronunciation there also because there is an option uh, by which you can uh, hear the audio. Audio, yes. Uh, yes if, okay. if you use the app, Daily Star app, then the audio okay. option is there. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So much. Okay, Sharif, are you ready for it? If it plays a meet or sir, Sharif. Yes, sir. I'm ready, sir. Uh, okay. Which part would you like to describe? Uh, should I start from the part one? Uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. My name is Abu Hassan Muhammad Mujahid. Okay, and you can call me Sir Mujahid. Uh, I am actually currently living in Dhaka, but I actually live in there for uh, almost uh, for almost uh, ten years. But Dhaka is not my uh, birth um, hometown because I I am not. Uh, I, I have not spent my uh, childhood here. Uh, I uh, I am uh, me and my brother mutually uh, run a, a e-commerce company, uh, which is which name is Best Brother BD. Uh, currently, I am uh, working here as a business development executive. Uh, let's uh, talk about snacks. What what snack did you eat when you? Or uh, actually. Uh, when I was young, uh, young, I can as far as I can remember, I uh, mostly use uh, the chocolates. It's called uh, Kit Kat and uh, Snickers. My father used to bring it home, and it's it's I really uh, like I really like that um, chocolate, uh, and that was, that was so delicious. Yes, uh, uh, I can remember that. I can also I can remember that now. Uh, do you often eat snacks now? Yeah, uh, I often, I can, I, I think I, yeah, I take uh, openly, openly eat snacks whenever I can get chance or uh, whenever I bring uh, snacks for my uh, nephews, I, uh, uh, I try to take the test some, uh, sometimes. Uh, so yeah, I take, I often take snacks whenever I can get. Do you eating snacks uh, are healthy? I think. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of portion if uh, it's not healthy for it is not for, for unhealthy uh, it's uh, the amount if if anyone take is large uh, large amount i think it, it will be it, it will hamper his health for health so uh, so so i have to uh, i have to say that if uh, as far as she takes in a limited uh, limited uh, amount that it is not health. It is not hamper your health conditions. So it is. Uh, I think it is all about part one, sir. Yeah, uh, uh, Mujahid. Yeah, uh, you can uh, say what's your full name, sir. My full name is Abu Hassan Muhammad Mujahid. Uh, okay, in this case, you must mention my. Uh, this is Abu Hassan Muhammad Mujahid. Uh, please call me Mujahid or. My name is Abu Hassan Muhammad Mujahid. Please call me Mujahid. No need to say you can call me. It's better to say please call me Mujahid. <laughs> and uh, me and my brother, not like this because you are using uh, this noun and pronoun in place of subject. Uh, so it will be my brother and I. Uh, and the arrangement will be uh, two, three, one. If you use uh, three person at a time, that is first person, second person, and third person. Uh, in this case, your arrangement will be uh, second person, third person, and first person. And here you have used third person and first person. So, of course, my brother and I. Okay. My brother and I run a company. Then I think it's better not to use the word I think in terms of IELTS exam. Try to use, in my opinion, it's better for you. And uh, you have a little bit mannerism. Uh, 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 you are pronouncing this uh, 
sound several times. So uh, please try to solve it. And you must listen your words while delivering your speech. If you listen to your own words, then you will be able to find out your own mistakes. And in this way, you can correct yourself. Okay. Uh, okay, please describe part two. Okay, sir. Sure, sir. This can be a popular place for doing sports. Example, stadium, you should say where it, where it is, where you go there, where, what do you there, what do you there, and explain how you feel about this place. Uh, actually, mm, uh, there is a there is a place uh, in near near uh, in front of my house. We uh, usually play there uh, with my friends and family as uh, we are working people. Uh, whenever we get, uh, we have to work uh, all the all the weeks, and and we in weekends uh, we love to uh, play, play that ground fields. Uh, 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 Sometimes we play cricket and uh, sometimes we play uh, footballs or whatever uh, we can get, get uh, in, in front of us. I would, uh, would uh, uh, try to play together and we really enjoyed our time whenever we uh, whenever we uh, engage in a game. Uh, actually, uh, Honorable, and uh, how do you feel about the place? Actually, I feel that I we actually feel uh, I actually feel that uh, we enjoyed our time most of the time because whenever we get together with friends uh, friends that we uh, uh, then we can uh, hang out with each other and talk with talk with each, each other and along, alongside we can play uh, play uh, different kinds of uh, games so that is it's really enjoyable for us and our, uh, and the weekend it's end weekend and every weekend we try to uh, play the games in the in that place in the, in the same ground uh, i think it's uh, uh, all about part two sir ah uh, okay the same problem that is your mannerism that you solve it already i have mentioned it so you can describe part three sure, sir. right now you start place part three and do it yes, first. Yes. What, uh, what, what types of sports are popular in our country? I think uh, cricket is the most popular uh, sports in our country. Uh, people love uh, people uh, or people from all walks of life uh, love cricket uh, uh, from uh, any other games. Uh, and I, as we can see that uh, in in our um, in our country, uh, younger people when they get any space, they start playing cricket. And they, they they kick it as much as like, uh, so uh, I think cricket is the most popular uh, sports in our country. Uh, what are the benefits of playing a sport? I think uh, uh, playing uh, sports can help a person to fit mentally or physically, uh, and and it, that's why I think uh, every, every every person uh, uh, every person should uh, try to play uh, sports. Uh, whenever they get time that was uh, to feed their, their self and it is very necessary for uh, every everyone do you think that uh, type of sports that are popular will change in the future yeah i think that as uh, as you can see that that our population are increasing day by day or uh, have and our have, have limitation to limitation that we have not enough space for uh, our for our um, for play, so that uh, indoor games are very, very, very popular on day by day. So people are engaged in uh, uh, playing games in their mobiles or laptops, whatever the digital uh, device they have. So I think the, in near future, the uh, sports that are uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, so I think that uh, the types of sports that uh, will be playing will be changed in the near future. Do you think that like, uh, how can sports uh, bring people from different countries close together? Uh, people, uh, sport is the uh, sports is the only thing that uh, that brings to uh, people from all walks of life, from, uh, uh, from different culture, from different religion, from different background, and uh, they can play uh, together. Like as you can see that 
there are different uh, there are different uh, players uh, from different countries uh, come uh, bangladesh to play football for uh, for behalf of different uh, clubs like me mohammedan abuhani they they used to play, play with they play for them uh, so i can say that uh, sports is the only game that can uh, bring together uh, for, for from all all to uh, bring all of the people together from all over the world what are the advantages of hosting different international sporting events in a country uh, it is there are, there are many uh, there are varieties of benefits to uh, organize the uh, international events in uh, in a in a in a country as a hosting country they can earn a lots of uh, foreign remittances because there will be a lots of people lots of foreigners will come to uh, visit uh, our country then we, then our government can earn a lots of foreign remittances and as well as uh, our tourist uh, post uh, tourist uh, and alongside along with that our tourist sports can be boosted up with that because whenever our uh, guests our, our visitors from all from all over the world came to visit bangladesh to watch uh, to watch uh, uh, games then they, they will be visit of the most of the popular places then that's how our uh, tourist uh, tourism can be boost up so uh, i think that and it is the most uh, uh, so i think that uh, there is a lots of advantages to hosting international sports in our country the last question is how can we encourage uh, children to participate in different types of sporting activities uh, this uh, i think that uh, nowadays our parents are very much aware of their children's health uh, health uh, health issues because they uh, try to engage their children to different kinds of activities like uh, like yoga or martial arts or uh, or bring them to different kinds of uh, uh, kinds of uh, uh, sporting items and engaging them with different kinds of activities uh, so i think that nowadays parents are so much aware uh, of, of their health conscious of their children so uh, i think that uh, that's how uh, uh, children participate in different types of sporting activities and so uh, that's how that uh, that uh, so so, so the, by that uh, uh, children should be encouraged uh, to uh, play uh, to engage in different kinds of activities or sports that is how children can be uh, engaged with different kinds of sports it's all about part research ah uh, okay thank you thank you for your space actually you are a good speaker no doubt uh, just do regular practice uh, then uh, your problem will be solved, of course. Uh, do regular uh, the practice. I think within two weeks, you'll be able to solve your all problems. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for your space and dear participant. This is the end of our today's class because it has uh, already been 12 a.m. Uh, so our next class will be one Tuesday. Tuesday at the same time. And before that, I will share the topic. Take your preparation on the topic and share your ideas when i will start the class till that stay healthy stay uh, sound have a nice thank you sir thank you so much sir okay. thank you for time sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. yeah sami